hi everyone uh, today I'm going to uh, tell you like how to install Windows 10 on your uh, PC so uh, first of all let's talk about uh, the features new features which is there in Windows 10 uh, these are new features in Windows 10 uh, you can see the start menu is back in Windows 10 which is not there in Windows 8 and uh, Cortana is there it is nothing uh, but it's a personal assistant which help you in finding the files and search it is also integrated with uh, microphone and uh, let's talk about the uh, third one Microsoft Edge it's a new browser in uh, Windows 10 you will also get Internet Explorer 11 but uh, you will also get Microsoft Edge and uh, Cortana is inbuilt with Microsoft Edge to help you to do things faster and easier. And uh, if we talk about the photos, you will get all the photos in uh, one window because it has a uh, new features. So these are uh, some new features which uh, you will find in Windows 10. So now let's go ahead and uh, check what are the minimum hardware requirement to install Windows 10. These are minimum hardware requirement to install or upgrade Windows 10. If we uh, talk about uh, processor, then uh, one gigahertz processor should minimum should be there. And uh, if we talk about RAM, uh, for 32 bit minimum RAM should be 1 GB, and for 64 bit it should be 2 GB. And uh, hard disk space. For 32-bit OS, it should be 16 GB, and for 64-bit OS, it should be 20 GB. And uh, Direct X9 graphic card should be there for that. So let's move and install Windows 10 on your PC. Uh, so let us start Windows 10 installation and uh, insert dvd on your in your uh, dvd rom and uh, set your pc to boot from dvd and start your machine so that it gets boot from your dvd uh, here uh, i am showing the same thing in uh, vmware workstation so it's same there is not much difference and uh, once you uh, set bootable first bootable device dvd rom then reboot your machine and you will find that your machine gets boot from dvd rom and os uh, windows 10 os installation will be started so let me reboot this machine and i have set the first bootable device dvd rom so i have rebooted my pc and it's getting boot rate from uh, dvd rom you can see windows 10 installation is started and it's same as windows 8 7 8.1 so you will get the same thing you can see here um, language to install time currency and key input so i will keep the default value and click on next and here option you can see install now just click on it setup is starting it will take some time see here you need to uh, enter the product key to activate this window which I can do later also so I don't have uh, windows 10 product key so I will not uh, enter anything here I will skip this option I have to uh, Windows 2 operating system here two edition Windows 10 professional and Windows 10 home editions and uh, we have uh, some more edition we will check later what are those editions so here I will select Windows 10 professional and click next here the license I accept the license term and click next here you can see two options if you are upgrading your operating system from Windows 7 to Windows 10 or Windows 
8.8.1 to Windows 10 then use this option otherwise else click on custom yeah you can see 100 GB uh, space this drive I will select it and uh, click next you know this uh, window it will first copy the files then get uh, getting files ready for installation then installing features installing updates then finishing up so let's wait it will take some time so in between this we can uh, discuss uh, the all the additions windows 10 additions what, what are those so these are the windows 10 additions windows 10 home pro windows 10 enterprise these are the uh, operating system for pc then windows 10 mobile windows 10 mobile enterprise and these are for mobiles then windows 10 education this is for um, this will be optimized for uh, school purpose schooling and last one you can see that uh, will be used for robot smart sensor so these are all additions here we are installing windows 10 professional let's check what are the status of operating system so it's 46 percent completed 47 so we have to wait here now it's installing features now it's installing updates now finishing up now it will get rebooted in a few seconds or you can else you can start here from here now you can see uh, it's uh, now it's getting devices ready 16 percent It will again get rebooted now you can see it has been rebooted now see it's again asking to uh, enter the product key I don't have a I already uh, said so I will skip this option see do this later click on it see here you can see uh, the settings so there are two type of settings user ex use express setting that is default setting and if you want to customize setting then you can click here so here we are using default so use express setting here you can see uh, options like username so here you need to enter the who is going to use this PC just type your name admin whatever your name is I'm tapping uh, typing here Sam make it secure you can enter the password and password hint let's try I have skipped to like to enter the password which I will do later So it will take hardly five minutes more to get configured.
see you can see this won't take long time setting up your apps taking care of few things what are those let's check see windows 10 installation is completed they click no this is you can see the desktop which is quite good it seems to be 3d here you can see start see start menu is back which is not there in windows 8 or 8.1 all the things see you can see microsoft edge this is new internet explorer cortana which i have already discussed so this is your uh, new windows 10 and windows 10 installation is completed so it's very simple to install windows 10 on pc thank you